Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 205. That is, how many test cases can you execute per day? Let me answer this question for you. So if you get such kind of question in the interviews, then how to answer such kind of question? It's a tricky question, right? Obviously, it's a tricky question. Like how many test cases can you execute per day? It all depends, right? It all depends on the complexity of the functionality that we are testing, okay? So we are executing some test cases against some functionalities which are kind of complex, then obviously, it is gonna take time. We are going to execute less number of test cases in that case. That means there is no specific answer for this question, guys, okay? There's no specific answer for this question, like uh, this many number of test cases we can execute per day. So software testers will try to execute as many as number of test cases possible, okay? But we cannot give a specific number. But still, if you want to answer, okay, if you want to give a number as part of the answer, if you want to give a number like this many number of test cases, I or we execute per day, if you want to give that answer, then we have to be answering it in this manner, okay? So on an average, for a simple functionality, if you are executing the test cases against a simple functionality, not complex case, okay? For simple functionality against that uh, simple functionality, if you are executing some test cases, then on an average, it's not exact, it's on an average, okay? So you will be executing around 50 test cases, guys, okay? How, why only 50 test cases? Like it is a simple functionality, right? But still why 50 test cases? You see, whenever we are executing the test cases, okay, we generally don't follow only the instructions provided in the test cases, okay? Go to go to my account, okay? Select this login option. That that instructions we generally fall, uh, don't follow exactly, okay? So we follow the instructions, that's correct, but you see, uh, it's not, we are not machines, right? We generally think whenever you execute a particular test case, we just think like if there is a possibility of trying other way to where we can find a defect, okay? So it looks like only one test case you are executing, but when you are executing multiple test cases, okay? When you are test, uh, executing a particular test case, in order to complete the test case, you will not just simply follow the instructions provided in the test case, okay? After following the instructions provided in the test case, okay, we generally think, okay, so what extra we can do so that we can find a defect in the software, okay? That also is included. So if you include everything and uh, if, you, if you follow the instructions and as it is, uh, execute the test case and all, okay, I believe that on an average, okay for a simple functionality against which if you are executing the test cases then 50 test cases will be a good number okay we will not be able to execute more than 50 test cases if you are okay executing in a quality manner okay if you are simply blindly following the test cases and doesn't matter to if your focus is not on finding the defects and all right you can execute more test cases also okay but if you are executing some test cases and in your in the background of your mind, it's like it's not just about executing the test cases, but also finding some defects by uh, just changing some paths and all. Okay, then definitely it's gonna take okay more time for each and every test case to complete. That's why I'm saying I'm fixing the number to 50. Okay, not more than 50. Okay, so hope guys, uh, it's a tricky question, and uh, with my explanation, maybe it may be clear for you guys like uh, how to answer this. Okay, when you answer genuinely right, the interviewer whoever is asking this question to you will get convinced, okay? So don't worry, there is no particular answer for this. It all depends how you how genuinely answer this question, okay, in the interviews. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.